दो एक ट्रिपल सी कोर्स ऑन कंप्यूटर कंसेप्ट इंट्रोडक्शन जी आई बेस्ड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स पार्ट वन ऑनलाइन कंटेंट्स फॉर कोर्स ऑन कंप्यूटर कंसेप्ट सिलेबस आर इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर इंट्रोडक्शन टू जी यू आई बेस्ड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग स्प्रेडशीट कंप्यूटर कम्युनिकेशन एंड इंटरनेट वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब एंड वेब ब्राउजर कम्युनिकेशन एंड कोलोबरेशन मेकिंग ए स्मॉल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव यू विल लर्न अबाउट दिस चैप्टर पर्पस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यूजर इंटरफेस ऑफ विंडोज using menus and icons managing files and folders introduction In the previous chapter you have learned about the characteristic of computer system and its components. You have also learned about system software and application software. In the current chapter you will learn about very important system software also called operating systems. we will use windows to explain various aspect of an operating system microsoft has produced a number of operating system windows 95 windows 98 windows me windows xp windows vista windows nt windows 2002 windows 2003 are some of them we have selected windows xp professional for reference operating systems an operating system is a program that act as an intermediary between the user of a computer and computer hardware The purpose of an operating system is to provide an environment in which user can execute programs in a convenient and efficient manner. It is the first program loaded into the computer's memory after the computer is switched on. popular operating systems include ms dos operating system windows and linux and unix the operating system is an important component of the computer systems because it sets the standards for the application program that's run on it all program must be written to talk to this operating systems various function of operating system memory management processor management device management and file management first is memory management function operating system manages the primary memory of the systems 
it allocates the memory on the request of a process which is being run at the that time it also keep a check that at a particular time how many bytes of memory are in use and which process is using it it also keeps track of what part of it is free in case of a multi user systems it decided on priority basis which user will have access to memory and when how much of it is used depend on the requirements second processor management function operating system also take care of the processor it allocate the processor to the user in case of multi user system it allocate the processor time to different user and when needed and is much a way that every user has a minimum waiting time third is divide management function it keep track of all the devices example peripherals attached to the computer such as input output devices when needed it allocates the devices in such a way that each can be efficiently used it initiates the input output operations and allocates them along with other devices to the user fourth file management function writing and retrieving the information on from the secondary storage device is the function of an operating system it follows a complete methodology for maintaining the files so that different sets of information do not get mixed up and the exactly the same set of information is supplied which is required by the user file management system look like this types introduction to gui based operating system part 1 the end